Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Freeze. Welcome to Freeze Kids TV. And today we're gonna be drawing one of my absolute favorite characters. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to draw SpongeBob SquarePants from Sponge on the Run. So what you need for this is you're gonna need a piece of paper, uh, a black uh, Sharpie, and some markers, pencil crayons or crayons. So it's gonna be really cool, and if you like today's video, please like and subscribe to our channel. But you know what? Let's not waste any time. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! Well, I'm just joking, aye, Captain, but let's get started. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start by drawing SpongeBob's eye. So we're going to draw a nice big circle. So it's going to go up. It's going to go around. And we're going to stop right about here. And next we're going to do is we're going to draw SpongeBob's cheek. So we have a line that's going to go around just to about here. And what we'll do next is we're going to draw his nose. So have a line goes up and around like that. Now we're going to draw his mouth. We'll have a line here. And it's going to go around and just a little line there. And now we'll draw the other eye. We're going to go up. And around, just gonna stop over here. And I'll have a little line like that. Now we're gonna draw the inside of the eye. We'll draw a nice big circle. And we'll do the same over here. And we're gonna draw his pupils. So I have a line that's gonna bend like this. And this is gonna be the, for the light part of the pupils. And for the dark part, we're gonna draw a little circle here. We're just gonna color that in. And we'll do the same over here. And we're just gonna color that in. And we'll draw a sponge for his eyelash. So go one two and three and we'll just do the same here all right now we'll draw SpongeBob's teeth we'll have one over here we'll draw the other on this side For a small have a line goes under and it'll go up like this. Now we'll draw two lines for his tongue. And now we'll draw the side of his face. So we're just gonna have a line, it's gonna be a wiggly line that's gonna go like this here. Now we'll draw another wiggly line here at the top. And one more wiggly line on this side here. And one last wiggly line at the bottom like that. Now we're gonna draw the side of SpongeBob will have a little line here. And this wiggly line is just gonna go in the same way as the one in front of it. We'll draw a sleeve, we'll have a line to go one, two, and three. And we'll have a little line here. 
Now we're going to draw his shirt and his shorts. We'll draw lines and go down to about here. We'll have a line and go across. And then a line that's going to join like that. And here we're going to draw his arm. We'll have two lines. And for SpongeBob's fingers, we're gonna we'll, we'll go, draw a thumb first, and then we'll go one, two, and three. Now we we'll just draw a little line over here, another line there, and now we're just gonna have. A little circle here and since Spongebob's in camp he kind of has uh, we're gonna what well, we're gonna draw his uh, shirt so let's we'll draw those in here it's two little squares and we'll have a line just go around like that and a little line here and we'll do the same on this side Now we're just going to draw a line that's going to go across and it's going to join like that and we'll draw three little lines for his belt and we'll do two lines here. Now we'll draw the other sleeve on this side and so go down and a line that will draw like that. We'll draw two lines for his arm. We're going to draw a thumb and we'll go one, two, and three. Now we'll draw the bottom of the shorts. So we'll have one on this side, the other over here. And we'll draw two lines for SpongeBob's legs. Same here. And since he's in camp, he's wearing boots. So we're just gonna draw the top of our boot. and around to about here so go under and it's gonna join like that do the same over here go one two three and a little line here and for the buckle we're just gonna draw two little buckles we'll have one on each side And for the bottom of the boot, we're just going to add those in the sole of the boots. Now we're going to draw the brim of the hat. We'll have a line to go up and around. And then a line that's just going to go across and join here. And for the top of the hat, we'll have a line goes up and around, and I'll stop here. We're just gonna draw a little square here. And we just have a little line like that. And another line that's gonna join over here. And just a little, little beanie for the top of the hat. So now that we've drawn SpongeBob, it's time to do some coloring. So we're gonna get our markers. Now we're gonna be coloring the base of SpongeBob. So we're gonna use a, a very light yellow. And when you're coloring, what you wanna do is you wanna stay within the lines. So sometimes what I do is I start coloring really close to where the lines are and then work my way outwards. So that way the 
colors don't go over into the parts it's not supposed to be. So we're just gonna color this in here. And you wanna take your time when you're coloring so it looks nice and smooth. And we also can get, get just around the eyelashes here. So we'll just color the rest of this in. Now we're gonna color his arms. So let's add the yellow here. We'll do the same on this side. And we're also gonna color his legs. So now that we have our base color, oh, actually, you know, I'm just gonna finish the eye here. So let's draw a line. And now we're gonna use a darker yellow. And this is for the side of SpongeBob. It's gonna kind of make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. So, uh, kind of have some uh, shadows on the side. So call this in. And for the inside eyes, we're gonna use a light blue. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of blue just on the inside of the eyes, just gonna make it uh, stand out a little bit more. We'll have a little bit of blue on the, um, on the sleeve, so we'll draw that here. And just a little bit on this side. And just a little bit of blue under here. Now we're just gonna draw his spots or his pores. So we'll add three, four over here. We'll have one up here. Add two over here. Another two here. One there and two up here. Now we're gonna be calling the hat. I'm gonna be using orange. And the orange actually looks like it's brown, so that kind of is pretty cool. The light brown, so I'm gonna color this part of here in. We're gonna color the top part of the hat. And we use a dark brown, so this is me for the back of the hat. And also for under the brim here. We'll use the dark brown for this side of the shorts. And also to give some shadows underneath the shorts. And we'll use our light brown or orange for his shorts. We're we'll just gonna color this in nice and smooth. We're also going to color in the boots, so we're going to color in this part here. Same on this side. And we'll 
just add in a little bit of orange here on the inside of the mouth. We'll use our light yellow for the bottom of the soles. And we'll add a little bit of light blue here inside of the hat at the top. We're gonna color the tongue in pink. And we're just gonna use a little bit of a darker blue inside the eye just to make it stand out a little bit more we can also use a little bit in the hat to give it some shading we'll also add a little bit more in the sleeves it's gonna make it pop that's more the over here so we're just gonna color this in And we're also gonna use blue. That's gonna be over here. So we're just gonna color this in. And we'll color this little button here gold. And there we have it. We got our SpongeBob character. We're just gonna write our name. So we have Freeze. And we'll put the date 2020. Good work guys, awesome job. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as well as to hit that bell button to be notified every time we post a new video.